Hello, welcome to Live From Here. I'm your host, Louise Palenker, live from here. Yesterday, we read from celebrity biographies, and we will do that again in the future, but I thought today maybe we would have a little fun with looking at old records. It's a new segment I created called Looking at Old Records. So won't you please follow me? In, in, we're going to go through my music room. I don't have a record player anymore, and I hardly ever even look at my old records, but that's why we should look at them, right? Because I, I won't ever throw them away. This is my music room. This is where I make very mediocre music. Did you show my drums? This is my drums. This is um, my, my keyboard. And that's my guitar. I, all of which I play very badly. Okay, so this is my closet. And uh, you probably have a place in your house where you have your old records. And I'm very interested in knowing what old records you have and never played because we should think about them sometimes, that they're all alone. And it, you know you can't play them if you don't have a record player, but at least you can think about them. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to show you some of my old records, and then I'm going to randomly point to a song, and we're going to see whether or not I can sing it or remember how it goes. So this is just random. I've got The Letterman in live. This is one of my favorite albums. I never understood why it was called The Letterman dot 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 and live. Like they're leaving out something that happened into here. Someone almost tried to kill them, and they almost died, but here they are. And live because that could be in letterman and live i don't even know why who came up with that title it makes no sense um oh the letter this was my favorite letterman because look how cute they are and this is my favorite tony who i met and he um i wrote him a fan letter and he wrote back okay is this all going to be letterman music oh the mills brothers were that was my inspiration for all all uh, vocal harmony groups that I love, and that's my favorite, my most passionately favorite of all types of music is vocal harmonies. And did I just say most passionately favorite? Bad idea. Don't ever say that again. That and you know sense. the Mills Brothers. I you, do know the Mills Brothers. They, knew were, them. They, they were like uncles to me, and I and I loved them. And I know and I know their son John, who when he was little we they used to call him Skip, but now I, I think at least on Facebook we call him John. Um, this is this. So you know him really well. Well, I know him. I Facebook know him. No, I do know. I do know him. He's and he sings. Too. But when you were a kid, the Mills Brothers were hanging out with you in Buffalo, right? Yes, they were, and we we barbecued. So this is these things used to come when you would get albums because they're bigger than uh, when you download things. You would get sometimes they would, you would get a, a little present inside. This was this came with the Moody Blues, which is one of my favorite bands, and Justin Hayward. Oh my God, you guys, how dreamy is this guy? Please, stop it. Get off the train. This guy was awesome. And that's John Lodge. Anyway, this guy plays the flute. So he is one macho flute-playing rocker dude. Scotty plays the flute? His name's Scotty. <laughs> he <laughs> said, looks like Scotty, doesn't he? His name's Ray something or other. He plays the flute. Okay, like on Nights in White Satin, right? The flute solo? Never reaching the end. Yes. Um... This is a great album. It's Fred. Oh, because look at Fred Astaire. Ah, oh, please stop. He's forever dreamy. Fred Astaire. I love him. And uh, what's this? Paul Anka. It's, it's getting to where I have to point to a random uh, song and see. Who loves the title of this album? Kenny Rogers. What about me? Come on, Kenny. Could you be a little less into yourself? It's about me. That's back when we had wrinkles. <laughs> Ian's the funniest one on the show. You have to at least turn it around so they go go look in the mirror. That's Ian. He's the funniest one on the show. Can you guys believe that I have a Bobby Vinton album? All right, pick a song off of Bobby um, Vinton. Oh wait, look at him on the back. Yeah, he's badass, huh? All right, I have to pick a song. Okay, just randomly pick a song on the Bobby Vinton album, and then I have to sing it. Mm -hmm. Is it gonna be hard? My Elusive Dreams. Uh, <laughs> my Elusive Dreams and Things. Is that really how it goes? That was a fragment in my brain, but it, there might be more to it than that. But that's really what, how it goes? Something like that, but I could do this one a little bit. Because that was just the title of the song. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blue Velvet. Yeah. She wore blue. Oh, that's him, okay. I think that's the end of the show. Oh, 
Should we go? No, we've done long the enough. Cord. Pardon? The cord of the day. Oh, the cord of the day. Okay, Bobby, I'll be back for you later. All right. I have to go get a turntable now. I really want to hear Blue Velvet song by Bobby Vinton. Well, right, there was a go. device that would let you download it. All right, here we go. The cord of the day. I haven't even picked out a cord. All right. The cord of the day. Let me think. What would be nice for you guys? For those of you playing at home, that chord is a B minor. See you tomorrow.